The recent incident at the unveiling of the King Shaka statue in Durban has captured the attention of South Africans and the world alike. The event, which was meant to celebrate the legacy of one of the greatest leaders in Zulu history, was interrupted by a dramatic moment when a woman attempted to storm the VIP section. The scene left many wondering about the woman's motives, and speculations have run wild ever since. Some thought it was a publicity stunt, while others speculated that there might be political undertones at play. However, the most significant development came when King Masuzulu Koswalathini himself addressed the incident for the first time. His comments during a Shem church prayer at Eniokini Palace provided clarity on the situation, and his statements raised further questions about the tensions surrounding the Zulu monarchy. In this video, we will dive deeper into what happened during the unveiling, what King Monsieur Zulu said in his statement, and the broader implications for the Zulu people and the monarchy. It's essential to understand the backdrop of the Zulu monarchy to appreciate the gravity of this incident. The Zulu kingdom has a long and storied history, marked by powerful leadership, military prowess, and a deep connection to its people. The Zulu people, known for their rich culture and strong sense of identity, have always revered their monarchy. But in recent years, the monarchy has found itself at the center of controversy. The sudden passing of King Goodwill Zwelithini in March 2021 left the Zulu throne open for succession. This set off a power struggle between different factions within the royal family, with several individuals vying for the position. Eventually, King Mesuzalu, the elder son of the late king, was crowned as the rightful heir. However, his reign has been far from smooth. There have been ongoing disagreements within the royal family, as well as political pressure from outside forces. Many in the Zulu nation have questioned his leadership, and there have been instances where members of the royal family have challenged his authority. This instability within the monarchy has created a tense environment, one that has made events like the unveiling of the King Shocker statue a potential flashpoint for deeper issues. The incident at the unveiling of the King Shaka statue was unexpected, but it was not entirely out of place given the current political and social climate. The woman who attempted to storm the VIP section during the event was later identified by Kim Masuzulu as a member of the Onkobo family. This revelation immediately sparked further curiosity, as the Onkobo family has been known to have connections to some of the factions within the royal family that oppose Kim Masuzulu's reign. Some have speculated that her actions were a deliberate attempt to cause chaos or to make a statement about the ongoing struggles within the monarchy. Others believed that the woman might have been acting out of personal frustration or a desire for attention. However, what was clear from Kim Masuzulu's statement was that he did not see this as a random act. He suggested that the woman may have been manipulated by his detractors, people who are seeking to undermine his leadership and the unity of the Zulu people. This statement from King Masuzulu is particularly telling because it highlights the level of political tension that exists not just within the royal family, but also within the broader context of South African politics. The Zulu monarchy holds significant cultural and historical influence, and as such, it is often seen as a powerful political entity in the country. The monarch's words and actions can carry weight, and any perceived instability or disunity within the royal family can have far-reaching consequences. King Monsieur Zulu, recognizing the potential harm that such incidents could cause, expressed his compassion for the woman involved and stated his intention to reach out to her personally. He emphasized that he believed she may have been coerced or manipulated into her actions, which reflects a level of empathy and understanding that many did not expect from a leader facing such challenges. However, the king's gesture of reaching out to the woman and offering his assistance also raises several questions. For one, how effective can such an approach be in addressing the broader issues surrounding his leadership? Will his efforts to offer help to the woman be seen as a genuine attempt at reconciliation, or will it be perceived as a political move designed to maintain his image and control over the monarchy? Furthermore, 
what impact will this have on the internal divisions within the royal family and the factions that oppose him? As the Zulu monarchy continues to face scrutiny, both internally and externally, King Misuzulu's actions will likely play a significant role in determining the future of the monarchy. This incident also serves as a reminder of the complex relationship between tradition and modernity in South Africa. The Zulu monarchy, like many traditional institutions in the country, is grappling with how to maintain its relevance in a changing political landscape. While the monarchy remains a symbol of cultural pride for many Zulu people, it must also navigate the realities of a democratic South Africa, where power and leadership are often contested through formal political processes. The tension between these two forces, traditional authority and political power, has been a constant theme in the history of the Zulu monarchy, and the recent incident at the King Shaka statue unveiling is just the latest manifestation of these struggles. In his statement, King Misuzulu urged for unity among the Zulu people, stressing the importance of forgiveness and understanding. He warned against letting distractions, such as the controversy surrounding the woman's actions, detract from the larger goals of unity and progress for the Zulu nation. This call for reconciliation is a powerful message, particularly in a time when South Africa is facing its own challenges with division and discord. King Misuzulu's recognition of the need for peace within the Zulu nation could be seen as an attempt to rise above the turmoil and focus on the bigger picture. However, the path to true unity is not always straightforward, and the Zulu monarchy must find ways to bridge the gaps between different factions within the royal family, as well as navigate the political pressures that come from outside forces. The question remains, Will King Mesuzulu's efforts to heal the divisions within his family and his people be enough to overcome the challenges that lie ahead? Only time will tell. As the investigation into the incident continues, many will be watching closely to see how the king's outreach to the Onkobo woman unfolds and whether it leads to any resolution of the underlying tensions that continue to affect the Zulu monarchy. As we reflect on the implications of this incident, it's important to remember that South Africa's political landscape is constantly evolving. The Zulu monarchy, with its deep historical roots, will continue to play an influential role in shaping the future of the nation. However, it must adapt to the changing dynamics of the country and respond to the challenges that arise, both within and outside of the royal family. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more updates on South African politics and current events.